My name is Shark Attack. I drive the 165 Outback Sport Snowboard Mobile. Crap wagon. Yeah. All right. My name is Ryan Wilcox. I drive the 165 Subaru Crap Wagon um, from Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, River Valley Rally's <laughs> premier rally association. Okay. <laughs>so the nickname shark tack um my motorcycle accident back in 07 i had a couple heart surgeries uh the second heart surgery they cut me all open and i got scars everywhere so one of my boys i think we were out back riding dirt bikes didn't have a shirt on he's like dude looks like a shark bit out of your chest and that's just how it's stuck it just it looks like a shark chomped a big bite out of my chest Neither, neither. I don't like sausage, I like bacon. Sporty Spice. I don't even remember what the fuck they look like. I just remember Sporty Spice. If you wanna be my lover. We're really looking forward to Snowdrift. Uh, living in New England, like, we drive on that, that stuff every day. And New England's super icy. And everybody knows after the first five cars, snow's blown away and it's all ice. So we figured let's cut the power, take a little uh, lesson from like the two-wheel drive book. You know, we seen ACP, I think it was two years ago, maybe last year, took the turbo off his car. And uh, in 2013, I ran Snowdrift with a full-blown open-class car and it just felt like any time I got in it, we were just fucking Wah! spinning tires. So... Took uh, like a good old 2.5 NA motor, put it in the car. Lo and behold, we start breaking shit. Like, you know, past five gravel events, the car's held together fine, beating the piss out of it. And we go to like a low impact event with snow and ice and, you know, broken axle both days. Not only that, but like shook the car down back home. Everything ran all right. It looked, you know. Motor hadn't ran for almost a year, so I figured it had some bugs. We get out to Michigan and it ran like crap, like slower than slow. Like I was confident we were gonna have, you know, even though we're open class in a non-turbo car, I was comparing against the open light cars and I was confident we were gonna have one of the fastest open light cars out there because I've driven with that motor in another car. And you know, everything just backfired. It seems like every time I get worked up for an event, Everything just goes south. So from now on, I think I'm just going to be all lackadaisical and just be like, all right, let's go race, because that's when everything goes right. So, yeah, I've only ran 2013, and we started, we were like 30th car out. It was one of my first rallies. So this year we started 11th, and I was optimistic that we'd see some snow on the roads. And some spots there were, but it was like rutted ice with snow in the middle of the road or the side of the roads so you couldn't really you know i was trying to hop off the line get in the snow to try to get some traction but it was so like like i said rutted it would just kick us back and forth so you were better off staying in the ruddy ice um and then we got into on the second day some plowed roads which i thought were going to be even worse but it was like the plows actually packed down the snow and it was like, it might sound stupid, but it was like dry ice. So it's kind of sticky as opposed to like, you know, ice with a film of water on it and you just go fucking sliding. Um, it was it was way better starting up in start order this year. Like I said, you know, some roads had some snow um, and it felt awesome. You know, Park Expo was there the first day. I'm looking at my tires and Higgins, Yeoman, everybody but Roberts, I think, was running the same tire. You know, for me, who like, you know, these teams have 
professionals telling them what tires to run. You know, they have a team that makes those choices for them. So for me to like be on track with those guys felt good. Well, the rally car, you know, for a short period before I got into stage, before it was fully prepped, everything, like it was a daily driver for me. So I used to go to the mountain with the boards and everything. And 2013, I just made a joke. I was like, dude, next time I run this, I want to run with my boards, my roof rack and the boards on the top. I was like, so if we go on our roof, we'll, we'll keep going. Um, and lucky enough, Rally America was nice enough to let us run the first loops with the boards, like, because I just threw them on the car and I was like, eh, I'll wait till somebody tells me to take them off. And they let us run the first loop. They said to take, uh, take the boards off at service, but we never made it back to service, so. Uh, we didn't really, like, we didn't have many scary moments. I had a lot of, like, frustrating moments. Like, we spun out into a couple banks. Almost made it a full 360, but it was, like, 270. So now I'm front bumper at ass end is stuck in both snow banks, so we had to, like, five-point turn out of there. Wasn't really many, like, scary oh shit moments, but good moments and like it seems like this has been a pattern for me is um all the tight shit the twos and threes you know even each co-driver sat with me said I might be you know they haven't sat with Higgins but I might be the best you know tight corner guy that they've sat with you know Danny Norcus Stephen Harrell Stephen Harrell's you know my current co-driver said last year waste management that was the best he's ever gone through waste management and like I like you know we were the 10th fastest time through waste management. So best part of snow drift was my tight game, my tight corners, you know, and I was getting real, real nice with the handbrake. You know, we were coming into corners backwards. The sign that Dave Mira hit back in 08, you know, me and Brent and Kelly both tagged it and we were, he was right in front of me in the start order. So he came through, tagged it. I think he took out somebody's GoPro and then I came through and I just, bink. Tagged it too, so that was cool. The rumors are true. Uh, River Valley Rally's building a Hawkeye. Decided to play the game, get into something a little newer, but most of our platform in our wagon will still stay in a GD, so it just made sense to build a GD. And it's going to be an angry looking car. You know, we're going to bring the shark teeth back out. And uh, I don't know, there'll be some stuff on the car that you don't, you know, it's not going to have the typical WRC wing and all that stuff. It'll have River Valley Rally style. Snowboard straps holding your, <laughs> snowboard straps holding your bumpers on, stickers all over the dashboard and it's glare off the windshield, but you don't care because it looks steezy. You know? <laughs>